Welcome to July's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is remove linked list elements. Remove all elements from a linked list of integers that have value val. We're given a val, say the number six, and we want to remove all elements inside of our linked list with that value six. So if we have a linked list with one, two, six, three, whatever, then we want to return everything the same order, but without six. So pretty straightforward problem. What we're going to do is use a dummy pointer to avoid having to deal with any weird situations with the head. And what we'll do is store the previous node. And if this current value is, the current node's value is the value given to us, what we'll do is take that previous node and point it to the next node. Now the trick here is as we move through this linked list, we need to store that previous node if the value is still six. Say that we have repeating number six, right? We need to store that previous node value so that we know each time to move that pointer to the next one. If it isn't the value given to us, then we could just move the previous pointer to point to the next previous pointer um, node and so on and so forth. So let's start by initializing a dummy node and we'll just call that list node zero. And what we'll do is say, have this pointer point to the head. So the dummies nodes next is pointing to the head. Next, what we want to do is initialize two other variables. We'll have one for the current node and one for the previous. Right now, the current node is going to be, well, dummy, and the previous one will be nothing. Is that right? No, I, I apologize. The previous one's going to be dummy, and the current one's just going to be the head. I think that should be fine. So while we have a current node, we'll first check to see if this current node's value is equal to the value given to us. So if current value equals the value given to us, what do we want to do? We want to take our previous node, get that next pointer, and point it to the current node's next, point, uh, next node. Now the trick is, if this isn't true, then we want this previous node to now point to our, our current one. And then we'll just move ahead our pointer current equals cur.next. After we're finished with this, what we want to do is return the dummies next node because that's going to be whatever the head is now. So let's go ahead and try to run this. Um, okay. So that looks like it works. I'm just going to test to make sure like if we have repeating sixes, this should be one, four, five, six. or one for five, I mean, and let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So the main jux of this problem is to remember that we need to store that previous node somewhere as long as this value is equal to the value, as long as the nodes, current node's value is equal to the value given to us. If not, then we could move our previous pointer ahead because um, say if we have repeating sixes, we have to remember this current node so that we can continue to point it on to the next one. So thanks for watching my channel. Hope that helps. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.